the animated icon. The first thing we will do is add the width ticker provider state mixin right after the extend state. I will tell you why we need this later. Next, we need to create a boolean is play that we will set as false when we start and a late animation controller, which we call controller. With this, we can create the init state and inside we will say that the controller is equal to an animation controller. The duration will be one second. And then we use the vsync this and we need the width ticker provider because otherwise the vsync this will not work. I will put back the width ticker provider and then we will work on the dispose method. Inside this one, we will just need to dispose the controller when we don't use it anymore. Now it's time to work on the UI. In the center widget, we will use a gesture detector. The argument on tap will trigger a if else condition. If the is play is equal to false, then we will say that the controller dot forward and we will set the is play as true. Otherwise, we will say the controller dot reverse and the is play will be equal to false. Forward mean that we will have the next icon and reverse mean that we will have the previous icon. The child of the gesture detector will be the animated icon. Inside we have the icon animated icon dot play pause. This is the first icon and this is the second one. The progress will be a controller. This is an animated controller. And we will set the size at 100. If you restart the application, you will have a play pause button that is animated. This is called the animated icon. 